Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about a book called Conditional Citizens. It's a nonfiction book and it's by Leila Lalami. She's a Moroccan American author and I was really excited to read about read this book because it talks about how citizenship and immigration and especially Muslim immigration have been perceived differently post 9-11 and post Trump. There were things that I liked about the book, things that I wished were more like specific and that she gave more examples. But some things that I really liked was that she gave this extensive history of Muslim immigration and she talks about how people assume that Muslims only recently started coming to the US, but they've actually been here since the 1500s, since the first colonies. And that was really interesting. And then um, she talks about assimilation and how immigrants are expected to just assimilate into the mainstream society. But she she talks about how that is kind of a double standard sometimes. Um, and mainly it was just validating to read as um, I come from an immigrant family. And I've heard people in my extended family say things against other races of people. And she she includes so much... She spends the first half of the book talking about um, immigration and like Muslim culture and things like that. But then she also talks about um, other races like black people and she also talks about oppression against women. So her idea is that a lot of us oppressed people have the same struggles and we need to come together and support each other. I hope to hear more about conditional citizenship as the title suggested and she talked a little bit about that in the few first few chapters about how citizens are even after they get their citizenship they're not completely accepted as Americans their Americanness is always questioned and she talked a little bit about that but I was hoping to hear like more examples more specifics and I was hoping she would go more like deep instead of broad. She tried to cover a lot of topics in this book, which was good, but I I hope to hear more about um, the first part. Some of the stories seem kind of irrelevant and repetitive. Um, Like I I was saying, she kind of tried to go too broad and she started talking about like um, the time she went to the doctor and she might have been like sexually harassed or something which are important stories to tell, but not necessarily in this book. Some quotes that I really liked that stood out to me um, were when she's talking about assimilation, she talks about how especially like people of color come to the US and they're expected to learn English, to adapt to the surrounding communities. But when Americans, especially white Americans go to other countries, there's not that same expectation that they will learn the native language of the country that they're in. And if they have learned that language, then they're said to have gone native. And that stood out to me. She also says, and who gets to do the judging? Because it's clear that the, there's a double standard. Um, she talks about the history of immigration. So another quote was, All immigrants walk around with a scar left behind by their crossing into a new country, an invisible mark of the exile that became their condition when they were uprooted. That just seems like a really powerful quote that that shows what we all carry as immigrants. The last one was, assimilation is is something used as a cudgel, and it is used as an accusation against people. Whenever there is a newer group, that arrives, suddenly there are questions about assimilation. So that just like reinforces the idea that there's like this double standard and everything's fine until there's this new group of immigrants. So I would give this book a three out of five. Um, I did learn some new things, but like I was saying, I was hoping to hear more like specific examples but I am really glad to that I read it and I am excited to check out some of her other works. Like she has another book called The Other Americans. That's it.